You know, it's always I, – I like these Wednesday calls. We never know if we're going to have, you know, like tonight, five people on the call. Some nights we have 30 on the call. We we do know that uh, Vegas and is is down in Florida and sucking up the heat and enjoying a, a well-deserved vacation. He did reach out to me today, and he asked me to share my screen and just show you one thing before I got started. So I'm going to do that right now. I think most everybody on this call already knows this, but um, here, if you see here, if you go to your if you go to your website and 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 get yourself in and then go to your back office uh, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the menu to support. This is this is all the information you need for reaching out. I believe right now uh, the call center is. I don't know if the call center is down or what the deal is, but they've been having people having a hard time getting into the call center. So at least for now, if you have a, a problem where you want to reach out to support in the U.S., you'll need to go to uh, uh, just go to the email and, and send support at mydailychoice.com and tell them what you need and they'll get back to you. Now, it may be uh, it, it, our company is very busy um, and, and growing, so it could be as much as 72 hours before they get that back to you. I want to warn you of that. Um, so if you have a specific question or something, make sure you're very specific in what you're asking for so that they can, when they do get back to you, they can, they can answer the question you want. So make, make sure if it's a two or three part question, make sure you number it so they can see that because they're jumping from person to person to person and, you, and we want to make sure they take care of you. So, Again, keep keep your eyes open. Uh, uh, once you send it out, keep your eyes open for a, a, a response. But it may it may take a day or two. Um, of course, here are the other uh, support teams with phone numbers for Canada, the UK, Hungary, the EU, Nigeria. Uh, here's a, a one who in, in done in Spanish, and then we have a, a email for the Philippines for support. So. Just wanted to bring that up. I guess uh, Vegas had a couple of people reach out to him today and say they were having trouble getting on the U.S. phone system for for uh, MDC. So for now, uh, just if you have anybody that needs to talk to them, suggest they go and do it by email. Okay, the next thing we're going to do tonight, I want to do I want to do something tonight that will give us a little shot in the arm. And nobody I know uh, gives gives a more of a shot in the arm than Candace Bird Davis. A year ago, because this was done in March of, of last year, she was uh, uh, she came on and did this presentation on the road to success. And you know she's she was already a 500k then. Uh, I don't believe she's she has made super affiliate yet, but she may have. She was close. Um, I do know that her husband, as one of her downlines, uh, has also become a 500k affiliate. And on top of all that. She has actually become a brand partner in this in the last few months. She's become a brand partner with My Daily Choice, selling uh, the the new brand Instatrim, the Daily Detox Tea. So not only is she an affiliate now, she's also a brand partner. And I want to bring that up just so you can see there are no limits in what we can do, you know, in this business. Um, and and uh, she she is certainly uh, evidence of that. So without further ado, I'm going to I'm going to uh, play uh, her her uh, video from from well, a year ago in March. So it, it kind of is apropos to what we're doing right now. It's going to be about 30 minutes long and then I'll come on for about two or three minutes to close out. But I think you're going to you're going to have a real treat in, in listening to Candace. So here we go. Navigating success. How do you get yourself from where you are right now to where you want to go? And there's a lot of factors. There's a lot of stopping points or what I like to call rest stops on our journey of success. So I hope you got a pen, got yourselves a notebook because we're gonna talk serious today. And there may be some things that I say that'll hurt your feelings, but I always say this, if you know me, I would rather hurt your feelings than harm your future. So ladies and gentlemen, for those of you guys who do not know, my name is Candace Bird Davis. I hail from the beautiful city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I made the decision back in December of 2018 in navigation, but my car didn't have it. So what's the first thing that we did as kids? We would go to Google, Google Maps, MapQuest, and we would put in our directions and we had to print out turn-by-turn -turn directions. 
I hate to be the bearer of bad news. When we're on our journey of success, there are no exact turn by turn directions. So today we're gonna talk about navigating success. How do you get yourself from where you are right now to where you want to go? And there's a lot of factors. There's a lot of stopping points or what I like to call rest stops on our journey of success. So I hope you got a pen, got yourselves a notebook because we're gonna talk serious today. And there may be some things that I say that'll hurt your feelings. But I always say this, if you know me, I would rather hurt your feelings than harm your future. So ladies and gentlemen, for those of you guys who do not know, my name is Candace Bird Davis. I hail from the beautiful city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I made the decision back in December of 2018 to say yes to this company called My Daily Choice. And let me just tell you, when we talk about journeying through success, I got started in this industry in 2014. And I don't know if many of you guys heard my story, but I got started not having any success in this industry, not even knowing what this industry was and honestly thinking it was a complete scam. But boy, was I wrong. You see, I got pushed into this industry because I went through some things in life. So whatever it is that you're going through right now, it's okay. People have been going through it before, are currently going through it right now. It's not what you're going through. It's what you're going to do to get through it, to get to the other side. You see, I, I used to have excuses all the time about why I shouldn't see success. Yes, I was the girl that grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. Yes, I was the girl that grew up in a single family household. You know, my mom had four kids, two baby daddies, relied on public assistance to make sure she could take care of us. I grew up, I was one of the project kids. And I started to know as I started to advance through life, I was finding myself making excuses for where I came from and why I couldn't get to where I was going. So to those of you guys who are here, be honest with yourself tonight. How many of you guys are making excuses because of where you were or what you've done in your past? And that's one of the reasons that's holding you back for where you want to go in your future. Well, I'm the person here to tell you today, your past is not your trash. It is your treasure. See, those things that happened to you had to happen to you so that they can push you to your next level. So today we're going to talk about navigating the unknown road to success. Because you see, a lot of things in life are known. We know what our name is. We know what our date of birth is, but we don't know what that next level of success is gonna look like. So we're gonna drive in the dark together. So listen, I wrote down a couple things here. And number one, I'm gonna give them to you in one, twos, threes, and fours. And I want you to write these down. On our journey of navigating the unknown road to success, the first thing, the most important thing that we must have is we must have vision. Write the word vision down. Because I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of us entered into 2023 without a vision. Why? Because life probably smacked us in the face with a brick. And we felt like we wanted to give up. We were ready to throw in the towel. And we're like, you know what? I'm not seeing the level of success that I want. Should I quit? What should I do? Let me just sit here and think about it. Well, the reason why we're not going where we need to go is because sometimes we don't have clear vision or we have a cloudy vision. So if you want to navigate this road of success and you want to go to the next level, the first thing that you need to do is you need to have a clear vision. Now, I went and looked up, even though I knew what the definition of vision was, I went to go look this up and it says vision is the ability to think about or plan in the future with imagination or wisdom. Right beside that word vision, I want you to write, where do you see yourself? Honestly, right now, write it down. Don't, don't worry about doing it later. Do it right now, because here's the thing that happens. Procrastination is failure on payment plan. If you're going to procrastinate to write down one part of your vision right now, you're never going to do it again. So write it down. Where do you see yourself? Okay, and vision with this, it ties up to, let's make this easier. We're going to cover the who what, where, and when on vision. Who is in your vision? You, your family, your team? And what do you wanna do? Where do you wanna go? When do you want this to happen? What is your vision for yourself? I also wrote down, I don't know what your beliefs are, but mine is definitely in this book that's very powerful to me. And it says, where there is no vision, the people will perish. And that always meant something to me because if I did not have a vision or I did not have a clear vision, then I felt like I was dying on my journey of success. I felt like I was stranded in a desert. 
So where there is no vision, the people will perish. So where do you see yourself? If money and time were no option to you, what is the vision for yourself? Where would you be? That's number one. I want you to understand tonight, do not go to sleep without at least starting to figure out what your vision is. You can't do the same thing in 2023 that you did in 2022 and expect a different result. That's actually the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Be honest with yourself, be transparent. The way to navigate this unknown road of success is being truthful first in where you wanna go. Where is your journey going to take you? Outside of vision, the second thing is, why? Remember I said who, what, where, when. Now this is the why. Why do you want that vision for yourself? See, and a lot of the times we say, oh, I figured out my why, Candace. My why is because I wanna be able to make an incredible amount of money. That's cute. That's cute. But today I'm gonna tell you that's not enough. Outside of the money, what do you wanna do with it? And as you're figuring out your why, go ahead and write that down, why? And then beside it, I want you to write what hurts you. See, that's how I figured out what my why was. It was the things that hurt me. And in your why, I suggest that you have two versions. I want you to understand what's going to push you and what's gonna pull you to success. Here's an example. When I got started in this industry in 2014, just after going through two repossessions and a foreclosure, not having any money, bank account being in the negative thousands, literally, my why was because it was right around the winter months. It was in November. I live in the Northeast region. It was cold. One of the whys for my success was not just to save my home from foreclosure, but I remember sitting there that night that I said yes to network marketing. And I knew at that point it had been 72 hours in which my mom's gas was turned off at her house because she couldn't afford it and neither could I. My mom was sitting in the cold. One of the reasons why I needed to be successful was because I wanted to make sure that my mother, the woman who gave me life, never had to sit in the cold again. Another one of my whys was I watched my husband every single day risk his life. As a police officer in Washington, D.C., working at the Pentagon during 9-11, shutting down the highways during the Beltway Sniper, I knew that I wanted to retire him because we didn't make two children together for me to raise him by myself. So those were the things that hurt me. They pained me to see myself or somebody in my family going through it. So those were the things that pushed me. Also in my why I had the things that pulled me. Here's some examples. I knew that I deserved a dream car. I knew that I deserved my dream home. Those things would pull me to wanting success. So when you're figuring out your why, understand what hurts you, what's gonna pull you to success and what's gonna push you. The pain is gonna push you. It's gonna push you out the door. You don't want that anymore. So that's why you need to have success. So now you got your vision, you got your why. Now it's the how, how? See, and I'm gonna be transparent. Hello, Raymond, I see you from Georgia. I'm gonna be transparent about this. Some of us say that we write out our goals, but we really don't. I remember being the person that said, hey, you know what, I got my goals. I used to think that because they were in my head, I had them. Write out your goals, your achievements, because you see, we're covering the who, what, where, when, now we're in the how. Your goals, your achievements. But let me be honest with you, in navigating the unknown road to success, I want you to write down your realistic goals, because here's why. You want to have your realistic goals, and then you want to have your stretch goals, your realistic goals are things that you can see yourself accomplishing. You know that you can accomplish. They are a little bit of stretch, but they're not outside of reach. Because as you're navigating this unknown road to success and you happen to put down a goal that's out there and you don't hit it, guess what you're gonna do? That's gonna be the number one reason why you decide to quit. But at the end of the day, you're not quitting on your upline. You're not quitting on your downline. You're not quitting on MDC. Me, if I chose to quit, I'd be quitting on my amazing husband and my two phenomenal children. And I refuse to let that happen. So let me have some goals. And my friends, I'm gonna be honest with you. My suggestion, 
is you write yourself a daily goal, you write yourself a monthly goal, you write yourself a quarterly goal, a semi-annual, an annual, and then a three and five year goal. Seven goals. Success is heaven when you have seven, that's my motto. So what is your daily goal? But see, here's the thing, don't just write them. Use this as a guideline because we can't keep asking God or the universe to bless our journey, but we're not willing to move our feet, right? So what is your daily goal? How many people are you gonna talk to, introduce to your business? How many people are you gonna invite? Matter of fact, your daily goal should also include your growth. How much time are you gonna invest in growing yourself? Because here's the thing, we're talking tonight about the unknown journey to success, right? The unknown is things that you don't know. But when you focus on growing yourself, the unknown becomes the known. So then you start a new phase of your journey. So what is your daily goal? As you get off of this call, think about your monthly goal. What do you want to achieve? by the end of March, then a quarterly, then a semi, then an annual, and then hit us with your three to five year goals. Because at the end of the day, I always say this, a goal stands for go out and live, right? Because when you achieve them, life becomes better. You build a better business, you got better customers, you got more customers, you got more team members, so you can go out and live. Go also means go out and lead. Because as you start to achieve these goals, there's no longer the unknown, it becomes known. So now the things that you know, you can teach to your team and help them grow too. But if you don't have a goal, if you aim for nothing, you hit it every single time. So that's why sometimes our journey feels dark. It feels like we're stranded on a dark road, no headlights, no flashlights. Let me ask you a serious question. If you were to be dropped in the wilderness right at this very minute, now it's 6 p.m., it's kind of dark over here, so if I was to be dropped on this dead road somewhere in the dark, am I just gonna stand there? Or am I going to start walking in the dark to get myself to somewhere more familiar? You're not just gonna stand there. So why are we just standing in our business waiting for things to happen? It's time for us to be proactive and make those things happen. So I started to write some more things down. And I got a couple notes all over the place. So just bear with me, okay? Because sometimes I have that little squirrel syndrome going on. Mm -hmm. But what I wrote down is we can make excuses or we can make progress, but we can't have both. And here's what I mean. I was one of the ones who truly would beat myself up on a day-to-day -day basis based off of what life looked like to me in the past. On this unknown road to success, you must stop anchoring yourself to your past. It's a requirement. You have to. Because you can have, uh, one of the biggest things that I always used to tell people is, oh my gosh, I got a background. Like, I can't, I got things that happen. Great. I'm glad you got a back background. I would expect you to. Because otherwise, what would happen? You just miraculously today just dropped out of the sky and poof, you're here. No, everybody has a background. But do you understand that your story was assigned to you so that you can help somebody through exactly what you went through? You always hear people say it didn't happen to you, it happened for you, absolutely. But every single thing that happened to you, watch this. You may have considered it to be a tombstone because it was designed to kill you. No, it wasn't. See, you're not in the dark when you come to success. That was not a tombstone. That was actually a stepping stone for you to use what happened to you to take you to the next level, to step on it and move on. But at the end of the day, honestly, on the, the journey of success, I wrote this down. I said, what's scarier? You being in this exact same place at this exact same time, doing the exact same thing a year from now, or you possibly taking one or two steps and advancing yourself? Prime example, if I say that I'm going to the mall, I've got to move to get to the mall, right? If I say that I'm going to J Pesos, I got to move to get to J Pesos. You cannot go from point A to point B without any movement. So as we're journeying through the unknown road to success, stop sitting around looking and watching and waiting. To get down this unknown road to success, you gotta move. 
And sometimes that movement, you may think, I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay. Move anyways. See, because at the end of the day, how it gets done is not your business. It's the universe's business. But what has to happen is movement to make that happen. Stop watching, stop waiting, start moving. So I started to write down a couple things for you. And then I'm going to go ahead and let you go because I promised you guys I didn't want to be before you long. So I wrote down, I think it's eight, nine, I don't know. Just keep numbering them with me, okay? I didn't stay exactly with the numbers. But I wrote down some steps. Somebody said audio is off. Um, it sounds like, okay, if somebody can jump up in the chat, I see Willie and Jay Pay. So if somebody can give me a thumbs up, okay, everybody can hear me. Great. Thank you so much. I see you, Tamika. I see you, Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I wrote down these steps in which I looked at as journeys of success. Now, let me just tell you guys, I'm going to be transparent. This is my look, my opinion, but I want to share them with you because they truly did help me. Navigating the unknown, number one. Lead your team into the future rather than shackling them to the present. You want to travel and get through the unknown to where success becomes known to you? Lead your team into the future. Become a forward thinker. Have you realized the reason why My Daily Choice is so successful is because our incredible CEOs, Josh and Jenna Zwagel, they're forward thinking. They're ahead of the game. It may not, it may be unusual to you. You may not know the things that are coming out. You may not be familiar with Akashics and Forex and crypto and all that, but that's okay. You have to be forward thinking and look at the trends. Don't be a closed mind because closed minds don't get fed just like closed mouths do. You see, we are like the Amazon of home-based business. So be open in your journey to being able to talk about and start introducing and dropping nuggets about everything. As I said, lead your team into the future rather than shackling them to the present. Be okay with moving forward. Okay, I see you, Ava Gordon. Thank you so much. Number two, embrace the fear of the unknown. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Not knowing what tomorrow looks like, not knowing what next year looks like, it used to be scary. Be willing to accept the challenge of finding out, if I do this, what happens? What's riskier, you doing it and it working or you sitting there and doing nothing? See, on your journey of success, you gotta move to be able to get to that level. If you ever hear them say, there's no elevator to success, one must take the stairs. So as you're climbing steps, what are you doing? You're moving. So embrace the fear of the unknown. Be okay with the challenge in life. Number three, define the purpose that will lead the people through the discomfort. Like I said, the vision. Not only do you need to have a vision for yourself, what is the vision for your team? What is the vision for your customers? And I can't give that to you. That's gotta come completely from you. What do you see for your team? in the next three, six, nine, 12 months, three years, five years, whatever it may be. Number four, learn from every lesson and every failure. Every lesson and every failure. Here's what I wanna say, and I'm gonna say this with 100% truth and honesty. Where you are today in business has nothing to do with your upline. It has nothing to do with your downline. It has nothing to do with the company. If you feel like you're stagnant, it has everything to do with you. In journeying through the unknown, we have to understand that we can't keep pointing the finger. Now it's time to point the thumb. And I want you to be transparent with yourself. And I want you to say this out loud. If it's meant to be, it's up to me. See, your journey is completely up to you. Nobody can get in this vehicle of success for you. Nobody, Sammy. Nobody, Ava, and drive it for you. Your journey of success is in your body. Nobody can jump in your skin and take this ride for you. We can take it with you. We can't take it for you. So every lesson and every failure, you must learn from it. I saw a, a, a status on Facebook. I think it was yesterday, the other day, whatever. But it meant so much because I laughed about it. It said... You can't spell millions 
or billions, because I'm assuming a lot of you all want to become millionaires or multimillionaires or billionaires, but you can't spell millions without a couple L's, which are losses or lessons. So you got to be ready to learn from the lesson and the failures, because I don't believe that failure is, I, I, I don't believe that we fail at anything. We learn from everything. But then again, I also believe what they say. You never know what it's like to win until you've fall, fallen. So you got to be willing to learn from those lessons and those failures. Number five, recognize, and I'm going to be honest with you, no, I, I don't know too many leaders who will admit this, but recognize that this industry is messy. And here's what I mean. I'm not talking about drama. I'm not talking about any of that. See, that's where y'all got lost that quick. Boom. This industry is messy. And here's what I mean. Normal people want success to be this one straight line. But to be honest with you, one of the biggest books that I read, and I still read it to this day, and I've been in the industry for nine years. You ready for this, Jordan Bray? My first year in network marketing. See, what happens is when I say this industry is messy, we see ups, we see downs, we see way, way downs. And then sometimes we hit this thing called a plateau. So you got to be willing to understand that there's going to be ups and downs in your business, right? But you got to be willing to take that roller coaster ride to success. That's navigating the unknown. But what happens is let's just be transparent. We see this big peak in our business and then all of a sudden our volume may drop for one reason or another. Maybe it's the season, you know, maybe it's around the holiday, whatever it may be. And the minute you see that drop, you're ready to quit. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have chose network marketing. Oh, maybe this wasn't for me. No, it's messy because you haven't understood the way the industry flows. And eventually, once you get into this rhythm, you're never going to see those downs. Everything is going to be up or plateau and then up again. Yes, ebb and flow, Jordan. So if you haven't already done that on your journey of navigating the unknown, that's the first book that I would suggest that if you're new to this or even true to this, reread the book. The other book that I love is called Who Moved My Cheese? It's a book about two mice men and a piece of cheese, AKA success. And it was being moved. And there was chaos trying to figure out where the success was moving to and who moved the success and why did it shift? But that's another great book. Okay, let's get back. Number six, be open to learn. Be open to learn. You hear Jenna talk about it every single time. Be willing to grow. You build your mind, you build your money, right? Why do you want to focus on being open to learn? When you don't know something, that's called the unknown. But if you focus on learning something, it is no longer unknown. You have now knowed it, no, knowed it. I made up my own word, you knowed it. So the more that you learn, the less becomes unknown, if that makes sense. Number seven, know when to move forward and realize that there's more to know. Here's what I mean. We are a house of brands. If you started to promote one product and you notice that your audience is not engaging with it, not purchasing it, we have over 952 SKUs. Know when to move to the next product. Don't sit here promoting one product, talking about I'm not building a customer base. I'm not seeing the success that I want. When we have a plethora of products in our portfolio that can tickle your fancy. Know when to start promoting new products, launching new products. That was one of the biggest things with success with my team. We were always launching something new. Always launching something new. Yes, Amanda. Amanda said, just keep swim, swimming. Jordan said, know when to pivot. The next one, which is number eight, understand the law of environment. When you're navigating this road of success, the law of environment, just says that when you put yourself around successful people, you start to see success too. Because if you recall, let me go back to my notes where I defined vision. Vision said the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination, which we covered that, or wisdom. 
wisdom being the key word, okay? So if you put yourself or follow the law of environment and put yourself in rooms with Jenna Zwagel, Josh Zwagel, Robert Hollis, Jay Peso, name any one of these other leaders, and you put yourself in a room of people doing better than you, by default, your wisdom or your vision is going to develop out of the wisdom that you're learning from them. The law of environment. Who are you around? I'm going to be honest with you. It is so hard to navigate the journey of success when you're around hating ass Heather, right? When you're around people like Debbie Downer, it's hard to navigate that success. Like Jordan said, broke Betty. The law of environment is crucial when you're navigating that road of success. That was number eight. Let me get back to my notes. I think that was number eight. Yes. Number nine. And this is the last one, the law of contribution. If you want to be able to ease up on your road to success and see it a lot quicker, the law of contribution, what are you contributing to your success? Are you learning? Are you sacrificing? Are you growing? Are you giving? Because see, a lot of us want to receive success, but do you know that there's a principle that says in order to receive, you must give. You must contribute. So what are you giving in order to see this success? Because at the end of the day, you can't carry the crown if you're not willing to bear your cross, which means going through all the things required for you to see the level of success that you wanna see. It's not possible. Lastly, celebrate. Celebrate you. Celebrate me, celebrate people, celebrate everybody. Here's why. When you can open your mind to celebrate other people, somehow you unlock this amazing thing in the universe that lets the universe know that you're ready to be celebrated too. So on this journey, while you're navigating the unknown on success, understand your why, understand your vision, understand your goals, and be ready to move. The most important part on your journey of success is tapping in. Trainings, AKA learning, contributing to your success. All right. That is, that lady is a fireball and she has always brings massive content and massive excitement whenever she speaks. And you know what, she never gives up. Uh, like I said, uh, in a year ago, and a year ago this month, she was already a 500k affiliate. Uh, uh, now her husband's a 500k affiliate. She's soon to be a super affiliate if she hasn't made it already. She is. Um, uh, she's she's selling her own brand of the Instatrim. Is is her own brand. She's now a brand partner with the company. So I just want you to be able to see that there is nothing holding you back from doing almost anything if you put your mind to it. And I think the one weakness that we get as we get we get comfortable in our own skin, we get comfortable in our own habits, and we we have to have to have somebody kind of kick us in the rear every once in a while and get out there and do it. Over the next few weeks, um, th there's a lot, of, a lot of changes coming to my team. Um, I've, I've been with my, my African team, I'm, 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 I'm giving some of the, my team members who have who have uh, really done fantastic. I'm giving them more of an ownership to the market. And there's and we we got some other countries that we're getting ready to open up, and we got so much going on. And I want to start maybe giving giving all of you who want it a little a little boost, a little kick to get get to the next level. And by doing that, what I'm I'm going to be looking at doing over the next next several weeks is pointing at each one of you and saying. When do you want me to do a presentation for somebody that you want to, do you want to build this business with? You know, I'm going to put you on the spot. And I mean, obviously, I'm not going to I'm not going to be a, an Adolf Hitler. If you uh, if you uh, tell me that, that you're not comfortable doing that, you don't want to do it. That's fine. But I'm going to try to push it to that level. That's that's a, a level of, of discomfort. You know, anyone who's ever been successful at anything has had to walk through that valley 
of fear, the valley of death, uh, of of, de of uh, doubt, and the va the valley that uh, that you you just you're just you're just afraid to go through it. And if somebody takes your hand and helps you walk through that valley, it makes it easier. And that's what we hope to do over the next next few weeks and and, and the next couple of months is. I want you guys to prepare yourselves. If it's something you want to do soon, reach out to me and, and tell me, and we will find the time. We will find the the the, uh, the, the, the medium for you, whether it's uh, whether it's meetings, whether it's a Zoom call, whether it's a telephone call, whatever it is. And we're going to reach out to some of the people that you believe would be the people that could change your lives the most by becoming business partners with you. So, thank you for coming on tonight. I hope you enjoyed Candice as much as I always do. Um, I thought her, her her talk tonight was very apropos for the time of the year um, based on the fact she did this a, exactly a year ago. And it just tells us where we need to be headed going into the spring and the summer. So guys, have a great week. Remember, I love every one of you. I want nothing better than to see you all succeed. And I, I want to see you at the top. So have a great night. Talk to you soon. <laughs>